Dole, and this is Home Wizards, your radio home for all things home garden and life improvement. This is what we do. We talk about ways, small ways and big ways to just really make those spaces you call home a little more you, a little more inviting, a little more efficient, and definitely a lot more fun. And speaking of fun, my friend Eric Stromer is here to help me have more fun at the International Builder Show. Can you believe we're here? We are. We've seen so much great stuff. And we this, have. The zero efficiency is a great topic that's been going on here throughout the show. We can see so much use of how, how to make energy work for us, not mm -hmm. against us. I really like that. It seems that in spite of the economy, I mean, well, maybe because of the economy, we've discovered that we just need to be more resilient and just smarter about how we, we live our lives. And that includes our home. And, and gosh, that home that we saw earlier in the week at the, the KB home, uh, inspired in part by Martha Stewart, it really was impressive, the, right. the beauty you, of it. Yeah, and not only the beauty, but the functionality and the way that you have now monitoring systems to kind of see how your energy usage is showing mm -hmm. up in all your different rooms throughout the house. That gives you the ability to decide how to use your your appliances and when to use them to kind of save energy and learn along the way. Kind of pumps you up, too. I mean, we saw yesterday uh, that Verve home monitoring. It was like a plasma screen and it shows yeah. you everything from what's going on with your gas and electric and your water and then how much if you have solar panels how much that juice is coming on in and i just i just like the fact that you can now rat your brother out for taking a too long of a shower you know and point him out to mom saying <laughs> there it hey, is this this monitor says he'd shower too long and it he's, costs us 50 cents you know right. it's like you right owe me there. 50 cents exactly you, you can get payback That's but right. there's been so many neat uh, innovations we've been learning about and for the next hour we're going to talk about uh, many of them because we want to kind of take you along with us on this tour of what's happening here uh, in Orlando. A little bit later, we're going to talk with the folks at Rubbermaid. They're always about ways to uh, get a little more organized with your storage and, and especially with the closet. Absolutely. That's the biggest problem. And so we're going to find out about that. We're going to learn from a, a great builder on how he has, he's actually built the best net zero home in the country. I hear this guy's one of the best ones so around. So I don't know how he does it. We're going to find out. And then later we're going to talk with Monica Peterson, of course, a designer you see a lot on TV. And I can't wait to find out about this carpeting that met the zoo challenge. And, well, I guess it was kind of pooped up a bit by uh, some elephants and rhinos. Absolutely. You know, you see pictures of rhinos and elephants walking around on this thing. It's it's amazing. Wait till you see this So carpet. they basically engineered this carpeting, and they figured, well, if it can pass the test with that, then it could pass the test with our kids and our pets, and you can rinse Wait, it Wait, are and you it. comparing my children to rhinoceros and elephant? No, I was comparing you oh. to a, a cute little baby <laughs> rhino. That's awful sweet. With, Thank you. With cute little whale teeth. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> anyway, let's talk to one of our first guests who is glowing in some greatness uh, here at the Builder Show. His name is Tom Wade, and he is a builder who, I don't know how he did it, but he has won from the U.S. Energy Department uh, an award for having the best net zero energy home in the country. So congratulations, Tom Wade. Thank you. You're from Albuquerque? Yes, we are. Come on in a little closer there to that microphone. Right. There you go. How's that? So you and your dad created this company, right? Uh, yeah, it was my, well, it was my dad's company, and then I started working with him in 1992. 19, okay, so that's a long time. So how did you and your dad, who probably has been in this business quite a bit of time, mm -hmm. get into the green thing and realize that net zero was not only smart for all of us as homeowners, but you as a home builder? We actually started with Build America in 1998 and started improving the efficiency of our homes. And then and, and, and that kind of took us down the path of, of learning about building science. And through, uh, through the years until 2008, we, we really, really focused on that. And then they kind of started maxing out on the building science aspect, waiting on technology. And so we went ahead and, you know, where do we go next? And that was zero energy. We built our first zero energy uh, home in 2008. And, been building them ever since. And explain to people what that means to live in a home that is net zero. Uh, net zero means that the um, the home has a hers rating of zero. Has it a has what of zero? A hers rating at home hers. energy rating system. Hers. Yeah, home. Not his. Hers. Her. It's See, always I, hers. It's always hello, hers. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but Just wanted to make sure we made a point of that. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> no, it's a home energy hers. rating system. It's the way we gauge on how efficient or non-efficient a house may be. And, and how uh, do you gauge that? It's, it's measured through building science, and they, they, uh, it's a lot of stuff that's right. working on There's like a checklist, There's right? There's a checklist, and, and then they input it all into the software, and the software kicks out a number. And so we're talking about in terms of plywood sheathing, you're, you're wrapping your house, you're not having air gaps in anything. Right. All seams are caulked or patched somehow, right? I mean, this yes, is what absolutely. we're talking about. And then great window systems. And yep. Insulation, how tight the house is. Wow. Yep. And... This home that you won the award for, I mean, describe, give us a kind of a virtual reality tour. What is it like? 
Well, it, 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 actually, the words on multiple homes. Multiple homes. Well, pick one and give us a one. sense of what it, it's it's all about. Uh, basically, it's a four bedroom, uh, two thousand square foot house, standard yeah. looking house. Yeah. Other than the solar panels on the roof, from the from the road, you don't don't realize it's anything different than a normal house. But when you're inside, when you're inside, what are some of the features that make you go wow? Um, what like hmm. the flooring, for instance? Oh. Uh, most of the or the insulation. Well, they, we, you can't see that though, unfortunately. Okay, yeah. but but it's, it's there. The wow. Yeah, it is. It is. Uh, you they, see it on the bills. We definitely see it on no bills. That's exactly. That's, that's, that's what I'm saying. So, so yeah. how, how what's the criteria for finding out that you are the champion? Is it is it that they do a hers rating f yeah. for a bunch of different homes and yours comes out the best? We register all of our homes with the uh, with the Builders Challenge, right? Uh, among other other programs, and 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 that's that's kind of where that all started, and they for the count. But uh, yeah, I mean, our, our insulation and our air tightness and and uh, just the whole the entire holistic way we put the home together. That's what makes it unique in all of our zero energies. And then and then, do you think that there's a cost difference in, in construction costs the way that you're building the houses that you do, or is it kind of catching up now with general construction? We're definitely starting to see the general the industry moving towards the the standard construction like what we're doing with the air tightness and increased insulation factors. Right. And 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 uh, so now we're just we're sorry we got to move the industry more towards the renewables and a little bit more sustainable. And then what about vendors and the the, the ability to get these products? It's much more available than it used to be. Tremendously, isn't it? Yeah. tremendously more. You used to you used to, you used to have to wait months to find out uh, how to, how to get some great product that you, was considered green. And, absolutely, you did. Right. Two thousand eight. I mean, we we had to advance order our HRVs and our photo our, our photovoltaics and our solar thermals and now it's it's just almost all those things are like stock items so people who read the newspaper and they still hear and see that you know the housing and building industry is still not perfect it's getting a little bit better but how is this whole idea of having a home that is net zero helping people like you and also helping a consumer have a better experience in spite of the economy the uh, the biggest thing for the people buying them is they know going forward, no matter what the inflation of energy cost is, their 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 energy bill is still zero, and so as other people will see an increase in their utility bills from now and forward, they they don't have that. It's and like you're not the boss of me. Exactly. <laughs> as one of, as one of my zero energy, as one of my zero energy customers said, you may I finally get to give it back to the yeah man. back to the <laughs> man. And for people like you, this also is helping kind of give you a, a second birth oh, in terms absolutely. of your career, I mean, right? You're giving us a little bit of a niche market. Nice. We're able to dig out there and find some, some customers we normally wouldn't have been able to find. Yeah, that's good news. Yeah. What do you see is the next big it in terms of green building in the next year, five years to look forward to? I, I think that the it is, is more 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 buy-in on the, the uh, from the industry itself and also from customers and then technology, the improvement of technology. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great. And then in terms of installation, what are you guys using now? What's the, what's the thing that best works for, for these great homes that you're building? Best thing that works for us is just is straight fiberglass, true, yeah. and, true and tried. Um, the, big, the bigger thing is the air sealing, how tight we make the house prior to putting the insulation in. You know, for many folks who aren't in that position to buy a whole new home or to do too much addition or remodeling work, I think that the green and definitely the, the net zero concept is resonating. What would you advise to people who are pretty much living in that home? They're not going to move out. Can they make some adjustments and have someone like you maybe retrofit their home and make it a little more energy efficient? Absolutely. And, yeah. it, and it's small things, but they all add up. Yeah. So, like, what would some of those things be? Windows, uh, you know, replacement windows, caulking, just looking at their, uh, their, their weatherproofing around the doors and the windows. Uh, add some more insulation in the attic. Um, change your light bulbs to CFLs. I mean, there's... Right. There's, it's just it's a whole bunch of little easy, easy things to do. Yeah. Change your filters out. You know. Good news. Good. Well, good. congratulations, Tom Wade. And uh, what's your website so people can see all your stuff? Artistichomes.com. There it is. And Tom, Albuquerque. How, how are you walking around with that big heavy crown on your head? I can't, I can't believe it. Probably. Yes, yeah. I, bet. I guess they're going to have a balloon named after you in, in Albuquerque with those balloon races we'll do a they had. Too. Yeah? yeah? Okay. Wow. Well, congratulations. congratulations. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, the fun continues as we're looking for more of the greatest uh, here at the International Builders Show. And we're back right after this. Don't go away.